I'd like to welcome um, another of our very special guests this evening. Uh, Dr. Martin Manser was a TD for Tipperary South from 2007 to 2011 and Minister of State for the Office of Public Works and the Arts between 2008 and 2011. Uh, he was a senator from 2002 to 2007 and prior to that was a special advisor on Northern Ireland to three Taoiseach. Dr. Ma Dr. Manzer is author of The Legacy of History for Making Peace in Ireland and in 2018 he was elected a member of the Royal Irish Academy. He is here tonight in his capacity as Vice Chairperson of the Expert Advisory Group on Centenary Commemorations which has been advising the government on commemorative events over the past decade. So would you please welcome Dr. Martin Manser. Cahillic uh, of Kerry County Council, uh, Chief Executive, uh, Mayor of Kerry, uh, other elected representatives, um, members of the historical profession, um, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very glad to join the Cahillic of Kerry County Council in warmly welcoming this centenary conference on the Civil War in Kerry and beyond, exploring the themes of history, memory and legacy. This conference has been planned for at least 12 months and probably more. The tragedy of the Civil War, once a subject largely avoided both by participants and historians, is an integral part of the history of the Irish Revolution and proved an important learning experience as a bruised nation picked itself up to resume the building of an enduring national democracy capable of weathering over the past hundred years a diverse range of existential challenges and that work still very much goes on. We owe a deep gratitude to the organizers, Owen O'Shea, author of an indispensable book, No Middle Path, The Civil War in Kerry, Dr. Mary McAuliffe of UCD, who has specialized in gender studies and the role of women in the revolutionary era, including violence against them, and Bridget McAuliffe, based in Kerry, who provides publication services. The Civil War falls into two phases. In the first two months in particular, the open battles for fortified buildings and control of key towns and cities, mainly in the south, that began with the bombardment of the Four Courts and led up to the death of Michael Collins at Bail le Blore. And then in later months, a reversion to civil to guerrilla warfare, ruthlessly fought with many reprisals. As with the War of Independence, most of the events had a strong local character, which did not prevent them often having national significance as well. The UCC conference in the summer, coinciding with the centenary of the early phase of the Civil War, is complemented by this conference in Kerry, dealing with the conflict on the ground, especially in the later stages of the Civil War. Last Sunday, I was involved in commemorating the death in action of the formidable commanding officer of the 3rd Tipperary Brigade of the IRA Dini Lacey in the Glen of Arlo and giving the oration. Beginning with the ambush at Solahed Beg in January 1919, the chosen approach to most of the military events has been to entrust their commemoration to local community organizations with the full backing of county councils, in this instance, obviously, Kerry County Council, their heritage officers and libraries and librarians, Tommy O'Connor, local historians and societies, um, with the backing of the expert advisory group on commemorations and funding administered by the Department of, and one needs to write this out carefully, Tourism, Culture, Arts, Gale Tax, Sport and Media, <laughs> under Minister Catherine Martin. She has shown a keen interest in and commitment to the programme. And being in Kerry, I must pay tribute to the example set by Jimmy Deanahan as minister in its early years. Um, and of course, I should have mentioned that the um, 
third level colleges have been involved um, uh, in a great deal of the work of the decade of centenaries and uh, in the case of this conference we're talking about the department of um, computers, creative media and information technology at MTU, the Munster Technological University. Events have overwhelmingly been characterized by a spirit of inclusivity, fidelity to the historical record, and recognition of the sensitivity of so much that happened in terms of ideals and sacrifices, evoking feelings in different contexts of both pride and pain. Much new material has been made easily available to everyone, particularly through the digitization of the records of the Bureau of Military History and the free consultation online of the Dictionary of Irish Biography, a major initiative of the Royal Irish Academy. Some other projects undertaken in this final phase have included poetry as commemoration at UCD, the Decade of Centenary's Bursary Scheme dedicated this year to our colleague on the expert advisory group, the late Dr. Eamon Phoenix, sorely missed, and collaboration between Noor 100 and Professor Lindsay Ema Byrne examining the theme of violence against women during the Civil War. The Cahirlach of the Shannard until mid-December 1922 Senator Mark Daly is to be congratulated on organizing a lively commemoration of its centenary, transcending the hostilities which marked its origins and which he acknowledged to me by a broad grin. No one is being asked to abandon their loyalty. Uh, you know, the right from uh, a national point of view. There is an interesting and exciting program of speakers and other events over the next two days to which we all look forward. But beginning with our keynote speaker tonight and also a key member of the expert advisory group, Dr. Professor Diarmuid Ferreter, author of an excellent book on the Civil War, Between Two Hells. Thank you.